everyone, my name is Caitlin and you're watching Likeable Cocktails. We are back with another edition of Classic Concepts. Now, we are gonna go back to the late 80s, early 90s with a modern day or contemporary classic cocktail, the French Martini. Now, the French Martini is one of the most basic cocktail concepts. You have your base spirit, you have a modifier, and you have juice, just three ingredients. But again, being here on Likeable Cocktails, we're gonna switch that up and transform that into a modern day classic of our own. I'm calling this cocktail the Montreal Martini. Now, if you don't know what a toonie is, you're probably not Canadian. A toonie is our $2 coin currency here. So I'm doing kind of a fun play on words with this one. So let's dive in. Now with the classic French martini, our base is typically vodka. Now you can change this out as you please. Maybe you're a gin fan, maybe you're a tequila fan, maybe even you're a scotch fan. But again, we're kind of going to pay homage to the classic here, but with a twist of our own. So instead of just using a plain, ordinary vodka, we're actually gonna be using coconut Ciroc. Now the coconut Ciroc is gonna add a little bit of a tropical feel to this cocktail. And it's gonna really create our own unique version of this French martini. So what I'm gonna start with is two full ounces of our coconut Ciroc. Now you could stop there and just move on to your modifier, but we are gonna tweak this recipe. So what I'm gonna add is a quarter of an ounce of aquavit. Now aquavit is a Swedish liqueur, and it uh, has a really nice quality of anise or black licorice flavor, and this is gonna play really good with the other elements to come in this cocktail. So again, I'm just gonna use a quarter of an ounce of aquavit in our cocktail. Now referring back to the classic recipe of the French martini, your modifying spirit is typically a black raspberry liqueur or a chambord. So I am gonna be using chambord in this cocktail, but if you don't have chambord at home, you could use a cassis, and if you don't have cassis, you could actually use fresh blackberries or fresh raspberries with a little bit of simple syrup added to it to kind of create your own black raspberry liqueur. But I'm gonna stick with the classic here and use a half of an ounce of chambord in our cocktail. So, so far we have our base and our modifier in this cocktail. With the coconut Ciroc, the aquavit, and the chambord, these three flavors are really complementary. So to enhance these even further, we have to go for our juice. Now again, in the classic recipe, it calls for pineapple juice. So I'm gonna stick with pineapple juice on this one. I'm gonna use two full ounces. Now typically you would stop right there because you have your three elements. You have your base, you have your modifier, and you have your juice. Now this recipe doesn't call for any type of citrus, but personally I think it just needs a slight edge of citrus to this drink. So what I'm actually gonna do is add an entire wedge of lemon into our cocktail. Because not only we're gonna get the citrus, but we're also gonna get a little bit of bitterness from the pith and a little bit of the oils from the peel. So I'm gonna take my lemon, cut off a little wedge, and stick it right into our shaker tin. Now that we have all of our elements here of our Montreal Martini, all we have to do is add some ice and shake it vigorously for 10 seconds. Now sticking with the classic recipe, I'm gonna be serving this straight up into a coupe glass. You can also use a martini glass, or if you do prefer this on ice, please feel free to do that. So let's strain it. Now to round out our cocktail and to finish it off, I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of lemon oil right across the top. And there you have it, your Montreal Martini, my take off of the modern day classic, French Martini. Enjoy. And as always, make sure to hit like, follow, and subscribe for more videos here on Likeable Cocktails.